Pop Montreal is uh, an independent music festival um, that uh, I think we try to like we we don't we want to be kind of like an inclusive reflection of the Montreal music community here. So we work with a lot of different promoters and artists on co, uh, co-presenting events and co-curation. And we have like a, a film festival and a conference and uh, we do like a big art fair and stuff. So we kind of, um, it, it started out of like, in one way, like we we saw like an opportunity and, you know, saw an, a lot of amazing music happening in the city and not necessarily a place for it and also because I you know we'd been involved and gone to like South by South and CMJ and North by Northeast and CMW in Toronto and um, felt something lacking from the musicians perspective like they were just straight kind of like showcasey like business type of events like you kind of felt like well you're kind of cattle being um led through this like cycle like show up don't sound check you know play in front of a bunch of disinterested people who are are standing at the back of the bar talking and it wasn't really about like the art and the performance and like any sense of like i don't know spectacle or community or anything like that so in a way pop montreal was like a reaction against other festivals and and it's really kind of crystallized in my mind at least to to become like an event that is special and and creates something unique and interesting and brings people together. I mean, that's kind of the most important thing is that we're like working communally together to create an event that is exciting and challenging and interesting and all that. It takes place throughout the city um, in about 30 different venues. Like this will be one of them. Um, I don't know if you'll if you'll have a chance to check out other venues in the city, but like there's Casa del Popolo and Sala Rosa Main Hall, and then we use like bigger theaters like Spectrum and Metropolis and the Cabaret. So we kind of kind of run the gamut, like from the bigger shows, like we've had Franz Ferdinand and Interpol, and in like the Metropolis, we even did a show with uh, Back last year at the Bell Center, which was wasn't definitely not like a priority to do like a big uh, stadium show, but I mean it just worked out so. Um, but you know, and it starts with like small little spaces like the Barfly, which are 65 capacity, and we always like find alternative loft venues and stuff like that. Um, yeah, and it's really, and it's almost become like a full year-round thing. Like, I mean, we, I do the booking here, but we also we do an outdoor stage during the summer with another festival called the Fringe Festival, which is I think an international like. Uh, the, like theater circuit festival or whatever so we do the outdoor we we help curate the outdoor stage with them and we do like a thing called fringe pop with about 20 different bands um free outdoor shows and then we're actually right now there's like a pop-off tour that's going through ontario quebec in the maritimes and we're taking two bands uh kind of young emerging bands in montreal duchess says and the lovely feathers and they're doing like a like a regional tour and we helped organize that and promote that and stuff so it's really kind of like you know it is the festival itself is like a five day event but there's stuff that kind of just happens all year round